The Clearwater Air Park Advisory Board met to discuss making safety improvements in the future. This meeting comes after a plane crashed into a mobile home park last month, killing the pilot and two women on the ground. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young attended that meeting and has the story. Air Park Advisory Board members discuss installing a rotating beacon, which is extra light to help pilots see. They say getting one has always been on the list, but now it's a greater priority if the air park can't be seen. A rotating beacon is white and green rotating light that helps pilots see for miles away. Board members say they do not know what caused the deadly crash that killed a pilot and two people in a mobile home, but they prioritize safety. Fly USA, who runs the airport now, has the franchise, has already had this on their list. It is a priority. I just wanted to make sure that we were doing everything possible to make that airport as visible as possible to prevent anything like this from happening again if we can. But installing one is something the city of Clearwater says doesn't just happen overnight. And it's been in our work plan. Like I said, there's other things that have to come before installing a beacon, which is finding a location, finding the height requirements. The NTSB report said the pilot could not see the air park and couldn't see its lights. I can't see the other airport. And do you think last month's tragedy has made this beacon more of a priority for the in, board community? Absolutely. In my opinion, as chairman of the board, I think it is a top priority. Anything we can do to make safety uh, a safer airport is what we should do. City officials say a rotating beacon has been entered into the grant program portal. There are several approvals it has to go through and then it goes to city council. The board says the city is moving rapidly to get this done. It's a pretty dark area around that. Now the runway lights do come on and they are visible, but I think the uh, addition of the rotating beacon would give a more distant uh, guidepost. The board will also be recommending a rotating beacon to Clearwater City Council during their next periodic report. In Clearwater, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.